it going guys? I can't believe it, but I'm in Miami for Formula One. But before we get to the F1 practice today, I gotta congratulate my friend Cam Casey on his ridiculous new Super Trofeo Evo 2. All right, dude, this is pretty insane. He mentioned, yeah, I think I wanna get into racing. And uh, instead of getting a spec Miata, he just goes, yeah, I just did a thing. <laughs> So this is absolutely ridiculous. So this is the Evo 2 you're explaining versus the Evo 1 yeah, the Evo has different headlights. Kit. Um, it's a 2018, so it is used, but it was the original Evo 1 and then converted to an Evo 2 kit. Oh, gotcha. Have you driven it yet? No, I haven't. This interior is actually so cool. Check out the steering wheel. The paddles feel absolutely insane. Radio button, flash look alarm. A whole series of buttons over here as well. Pretty much the only thing that still looks like a Huracan is this part right here. The rest look carbon fiber doors. Everything's been removed. New display. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> look at the door handle. So we're at Ansa Motorsports and they've got some absolutely insane race cars in here. Check this out. How epic is this Audi DTM race car? The rear diffuser looks like a staircase. I've actually never seen aerodynamics like this, but that is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> it doesn't get much cooler than that. And next to it, we've got a KTM Expo. I think this is called the GTR, but I really like the way these things look. Really, really cool exposed carbon fiber. It's actually got a roof on it right here, which the original KTMs didn't have that closed top. Very, very race inspired. This thing has got to be an absolute blast to drive. This thing looks so menacing from behind. Look at those dual exhaust tips. It's got the air jack system right there. And I love the fact that you can just see the exposed tires through the, uh, I don't even know if you can call this a rear bumper. Mazda prototype light. And look at the front splitter. It's legitimately made of plywood. How crazy is that? I saw one of these for the first time at the Long Beach Grand Prix, but the new 992 GT3 cup car is so cool. I love the fact that it doesn't really even have headlights. It just has these X's over the lenses there. Such a cool front end. And then it's got the uh, GT3 RS style vents in the side. All right, Cam firing up the Evo for the first time. Well, just when I thought this place couldn't get any cooler, I stumbled upon a ridiculous showroom of supercars. Gorgeous 812 super fast. We got an SF90. This thing's rare. 599 GTO Speciale F12 TDF. One of the coolest Ferraris ever made. 2RS 16M 765LT. I mean, they're just cool cars absolutely everywhere. And to cap it off at the end, the Ferrari F40. That is just too cool. And tucked away in the corner, kind of hard to film this, is a Ferrari 333 SP. This thing has a Formula One engine in it, a V12. And apparently this is chassis number one and engine number one. That's gotta be the coolest driving experience ever. Look at this, just tucked away in the back. Mercedes McLaren SLR, same color GT500 that I had. And then look at this, absolutely sick Countach. I mean, this is one of the coolest garages slash man cave areas I have ever seen. I don't think it would ever get old with this view. And then being able to look straight down onto the hood of an F40, that is so cool. This is absolutely insane. 250 Testarossa mini replica. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing was like $200,000. Looks like it's all electric. That is so cool. Okay, so I just looked it up. They only made 299 of these and it is over $100,000. <laughs> well, it doesn't get much cooler than that place. Once again, congrats to Cam on the new car. It's really cool to see all the different liveries people choose. So I'm excited to see what he does. Now we're gonna head to Miami Beach to do some car spotting and then head to day one of practice for Formula One. So it's pretty cool, you can actually sit in an F1 car, but look at the line for this thing. Hey. Unbelievable. Hey. 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 Man, I wish Formula One cars sounded that good. Look at this DBX hauling ass. Oh my God. This is the coolest water feature I've ever seen, a Formula One car in the middle of this pond. 
That is epic. Nice McLaren Artura next to the GT. The setup at Formula One Miami is absolutely insane. Right now we're in the marina. We're walking on fake sand. There's like lounge areas like we're at a beach club. Look at this, they've got a fake lake with all of these boats. I'm imagining to kind of replicate Monaco. That's hilarious. So check this out guys. New Italian supercar company called Lafitti just dropped three absolutely ridiculous electric cars. Let's check out their LM1. They're only making 24 of these, one for each hour of 24 hour of Le Mans, 1151 horsepower, zero to 60, 1.9 seconds. But one of the coolest parts is it actually has multiple gears. So the paddles aren't just for changing the brake regen, they actually shift the car's gears, like the rally cross car that I went in at Goodwood Festival of Speed. How cool does it look from behind those crazy glass taillights? It's got active aero, DRS, and apparently, as of December, this thing is about to actually hit the streets. Come on. So we're inside the LM1 now. This is awesome. Look at the steering wheel. Le Mans Formula One inspired, crazy doors. And look at all the controls up here on the roof. And check this out, it actually makes noise. <laughs> That's awesome. How crazy is this model, guys? This is called the Barchetta, and it has two different cockpits for the driver and the passenger. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Similar driving position as the LM1, but how cool is that windshield? Kind of gives me Monza vibes with this brace in the center. Look at all the controls down here. Really unique design, I love that actually. So check this model out. It's kind of a Baja off-roader called the Atrax. How epic is this interior, all yellow, and then it even has a third seat in the middle, kind of a reverse McLaren F1. It's also got, based on the name, kind of a spider design here and a carbon fiber shovel. That is epic. Look at this film helicopter just stalled in the air. How cool are these gondolas that go above the track? That is awesome. Well, there you guys have it. That concludes day one practice at Formula One. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.